Hi Taurus, welcome to Creative Intuition Channel. My name is MJ. I hope you are well and that you had a good opening of the new year. So Taurus, this is your mid-January general reading. Let's get straight into it since the cards start to um, jump out of that. This card represents you and will be in the center of the spread and you show up as the fortunes wheel. Beautiful. Now let's take a couple of cards. The surrounding energies we have the queen of fire and we have the ten of fire and i feel i know what this one is going to go up and two more remember to use your intuition taurus to decipher this message because after all you know your situation best you can apply the messages to your specific situation we have the queen of air and the six of air um, and eight of fire at the bottom of the deck so we have fire air energy and the wheel of fortune in the center uh, a lot of passion creativity uh, determination willingness to take action with um, work in the mental space those two energies are mixing but let's start with a card in the center representing you so with the wheel of fortune um taurus you are going through a transformation that is all about closing a cycle and opening a new one with number 10 representing completions and new openings it can be related to any area of life it can be job it can be about a relationship but for most of you, I primarily think it's in general, like a phase of life, a version of you that is going into the past. So the new version of you, up to date, authentic right now, can come to the surface. Okay, so um, it does impact all areas of your life, I feel, um, including your job. But it's more like a profound closing of a cycle as you go through life, maturing maybe related to um, achieving certain age symbolically for you but it's really not age specific okay it's just about um, up leveling in life to some extent on that mental level but also when it comes to your your life um, passions desires drive what drives you what inspires you okay uh, and I said, we have a lot of fire. We have the Queen of Fire, Ten of Fire, and the Eight of Fire on the table. We also have two Queens. So there's a lot of feminine, gentle energy as you go through this process. Uh, regardless of gender, it's just the feminine energy that is more caring, nurturing, and again, more gentle. And I feel that you are gentle to yourself as you go through the process because even the Eight of Fire, that is typically a card of intense movement or intense communication, in this particular deck it's represented by the panda so not really the fastest creature right uh, so there's some kind of grace and and slow movement but this movement is uh, firm okay and courageous to some extent as well And I want to move to the Ten of Fire because we have the Wheel of Fortune card that is number 10 and another 10, again, completions and new beginnings. You are releasing burdens um, as you go through this process. And again, it's a very graceful process of releasing, okay? It's not a hectic, chaotic, like overly intense or overly dramatic. But the fire energy of, of this uh, card, it's almost as if you put on the pieces of paper things that you want to release, leave in the past, and then burn them, to allow them to be gone. Uh, that's the vibe that I'm getting, how you are releasing things, burdens, maybe people, maybe responsibilities, um, that were unnecessary, and you were just carrying an unnecessary luggage with you. You are releasing things gracefully, uh, calmly but again it's very firm and you are decisive in what you do and again this uh, this wheel energy right with the wheel of fortune um, which is allowing you to help align yourself with your destiny 
with who you are meant to be with that authentic version of you and who you are you are showing up as those two queens i really feel that this is representative of again your energy um complementing the fortunes wheel energy two feminine energies the sexiest the most vibrant queen in the tarot deck and the one that is wise very calm that communicates clearly uh skillfully uses words communication but is also very firm and decisive and in authority and can be perceived as cold we have fire and this cold like two separate right you are combining two um opposite energies in yourself and i feel that it's like a magic and magical potion that is uh creating you at this time on one hand you are driven by passions by fire um by your dreams desires maybe your sexuality sensuality your feminine energy uh, your creative artistic um passions but at the same time you are following your truth and authenticity and wisdom with the queen of air so you don't take any bullshit you see things and people for what they are there's no lies and deceptions you see clearly and that helps you move forward without um, any disturbances um, or like battles you you move gently and gracefully through the process because you can see well ahead with that energy of seeing clearly okay i hope that makes sense but you are also communicating clearly what is it that you desire what you want um so again there's no lie and you cut off firmly with that sword of truth what is it or who is it that doesn't serve you is not of your benefit is not um, bringing any value into your life okay um and again with the six of swords there's this graceful movement you get wind in your sails and you are moving to the calm waters and i i think for a couple of readings already taurus you have this energy of slowing down calming down and again you are moving to, to those calm waters um the six of swords i always say that encompasses two energies swords which is your mental space and water which is your emotions uh, and they are both connected calming your mental space calms your emotions and the other way around you are moving to a place of balance between your mind and your heart your mental space and your emotional space and that allows you again um to move gracefully and without chaos without being overly dramatic um without your emotions especially temporary emotions to take over okay so you are making wise choices and you steer your ship wisely you choose the direction you know where your place of calmness is okay and again the eight of fire i said things gaining momentum movement can be intense communication but with the panda you have learned how to do things um, peacefully calmly without rushing uh, you realized the value of taking the time and that's why i sense so much grace in this reading and that feminine energy um gentle energy because i, I really think that you have calmed yourself down significantly and that's this up leveling and maturing um symbolized by the wheel of fortune so i hope that you were able to make sense out of those messages taurus um have a wonderful end of january as always take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye